Hey, what is up? My B-Boss baddies and my Batman fellas. It is your girl Bostana and welcome B-Boss Army. So as you guys can tell by the title today, y'all seen that? I was trying to do my hand thing. I forgot how to do it because I never even do it nowadays. But anyways, happy New Year's Eve, everybody. New Year's Eve. Tomorrow is New Year's Day. Tomorrow is my birthday. And y'all know we are just going to have fun after fun after fun. And, I, and I've been working hard. Hope you guys been working hard. I hope you guys had an amazing, long, nice, good year. And you guys, tonight I might just be doing a live, okay? So if I do a live, that means, you know, we're going to do the countdown and everything. If not, I'll just get a video out and it'll basically, basically be about, you know, how my year went type of thing and just celebrating, you know, try to have some fun with you guys tonight, okay? So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. I'm super excited, y'all. And look at my birthday nails. Aren't they cute? I hope they're cute on camera. Anyway, so... Um, I know you guys don't care, but I'm sorry. You guys are family. So, you know, I would do this and tell my brother too if he was in front of me. My brothers. Okay, first thing that you guys need to do, you must do to get woman in 2022. And yes, you guys might be getting woman now or you have some game, but I'm telling you, these things will change the game for you. And this first thing is wait longer before making the first move. Now, this, this one thing right here, man. This works for everybody, no matter who you are, who it is, and it also works no matter what stage, from just approaching a woman for the first time all the way to you guys dating for so many years and actually living together. So waiting for a woman, basically waiting it out, waiting, and not waiting for a woman, we don't wait for a woman, but waiting for a woman in that moment, in that second, where you are about to make that first move or you're about to speak to her or whatever action you want to do this gives you more options and basically it gives her her more options now of course of course i can't really talk today oh my goodness of course that girl is gonna not want a man that's gonna wait for her but when you give her more options by making her wait what's happening with this girl is that she's like okay well what is this guy really about right so now she has to start questioning and now she has to start you know wondering like what are you about and then on top of that while you guys are waiting it's gonna matter what you're doing while you're waiting so if you're looking at her and you're waiting like that right when you let's say this example you want to make that first move but what you decide is to wait right take my advice and wait now you wait it but you're looking at her every second that's not waiting that's not waiting it out and that's not helping and that's not a good option because now she knows you're interested in her but you just don't want to make that move right so when i say wait it out you got to be busy you got to be distracted you got to be doing your own thing so it could be you and on your phone it could be you know maybe you're just looking at a screen maybe you guys are out eating somewhere and you guys have a tv right in front of you guys both of you guys and you could just watch that screen right and she could be so close to you and she might not look at you but she's gonna know what you're doing, right? Rear view. I forgot what that term is. There's a term you can say, but she's gonna see you from her, um, I, uh, what is it called? I don't know, something vision, something like that. But she's gonna be able to see you, right? Even though she's not looking at you. So I'm just saying, you guys are in the same room, the same area. Even if you guys are still far away, you don't have to do the most to get her attention and you don't have to act on it right away. So typically in that situation, what most guys would do is say, okay, well, that's a fine babe right there. She's really good looking, hot type of girl. That's yours, right? And so, oh, you're going to jump on it. You see her and your instant re reaction is almost like, whoa, wow. Like, you know, and I don't blame you guys, right? Most times these girls are out here trying to impress, look good, right? So now you see that and you just go and kind of just ruin it for yourself, okay? So basically, you guys don't have to think that you have to act on whatever opportunity you feel like you have right then and there and y'all have to understand the opportunity is there because naturally it will be there it's not that she's giving you this opportunity and if it, if that is the case that could happen but i'm trying to say that sometimes you guys act like you have to go ahead and talk to her right away because if you wait a second you might let her slip away and that's true to a certain extent, but with modern day women nowadays, instead of just doing it so fast, acting on things so fast, right? Nowadays, you guys are chasing so hard or caring so hard. Instead of doing that so hard, you got to like step back. And this is another thing about this. When you wait, you're stepping back. You're letting this woman step in because now you're saying, I'm not doing nothing. You see me over here. I see you. What's up? And if you guys been talking or you guys been dating for some time, it's still going to apply, right? Sometimes in relationships, things start dying down because couples aren't doing what they were doing in the beginning. 
And so what it was is like, all you had to do was, you know, give your partner a break, go into the other room and let her do her thing. You know, maybe she just wants some more space that one day, or maybe she just wants to feel like, oh, where's my baby at? I want my baby, right? That distance that creates missingness. Maybe you just want to do that and you should try it out. You'll see the difference it'll make when you just wait one second longer or one minute. The longer, the better. Don't wait too, too, too long in a sense of like, let's say you got her number and you said, okay, you know what? I'm going to not text her until, you know, two weeks. Don't do that. Because now she's not going to even be thinking about you. She's not going to, by the time, you know, the end of the week ended, she probably has two other guys. And then on top of that, oh, now you slipped my mind because you don't want to talk to me. I'm not going to think about you. So you got to be really, really careful by just reading the situation and then knowing how long you should wait. All right. And also, last thing I'll just say is this applies to no contact. This is kind of similar to that. And the other things that you guys can do, like ghosting and ignoring, those are all similar things. They all basically get you women. <laughs> At the end of the day, they get you women. Doing these strategies get you women. All right. If you guys have more questions about this one, let me know. We'll leave it at that. Next is going to be an appearance. It's going to be about your looks now. Now, your looks is actually first because oftentimes, right, it's the first time you're trying to talk to a girl or you're, you're talking to her, um, you know, just from, from meeting her somewhere. So oftentimes, appearance is going to be the number one thing because that's what's displayed, right? First appearance, first appearance, first impression, everything means everything. So now when we have this case where your appearance is that important, what you have to do is make sure you know your style and maybe you just have to update your style. There's nothing wrong, first of all, with changing, right? There's nothing wrong with a huge change. There's nothing wrong with trying new things and trying to discover what it is that is you. This is my type of style because I like, you know, colors like this. I like solid. I don't like bright colors or I love bright colors. Solid colors really make me feel a certain way, a certain mood. All these things, I'm telling you guys, they're all linked. You see, when I say one thing, it goes back to what? Another thing. And that other thing that I just said was going back to your feelings. If you wear dark colors, right? Black, right? If it makes you feel really heavy, like heavy on the mind or, you know, I feel because, you know, most times people wear black when somebody passes, right? So let's just say some people do feel ways when they dress a certain way. So in that case, it might affect your mind because, you know, just that mood. It puts you in that mood, right? Sometimes Some people say out here, when I wear bright colors, I feel more lively. So it, it's going to apply first to you, okay? That's an important thing. It's going to allow you to improve yourself. It's going to allow you to upgrade if you need to. Or at least just, you know, make sure that your your um your style is so solid. And y'all just don't mind this. My hands got ashy as well because I put some water on my hair. And then um, I washed my hands and I dried it. I forgot to put lotion. But um yeah, I was just talking about this lip gloss thing that always happens. So annoying. So now this one is simple. Like I was just saying, I wanted you guys to just get that when you dress the part is important. When you come looking presentable, it's important. And people do notice it 100%. And sometimes, you know, we don't have to think about, I'm, try I'm just trying to pick up. I'm trying to get a girl. No, 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 no. You could just think of it as in, I'm a person that puts myself together. I like to look good. So when you feel good, you look good. So I'm saying, work on yourself inside and then the things that are out here that will help you get woman you can work on but it's harder to work on the outside if you're not working on the inside first so after you guys you know are a good place good place after maybe you know going through depression or certain things right everybody goes through things so after you guys go through that maybe it's that new time where you got to change everything and y'all we are at a new time right now right new year's eve new year's day tomorrow so that means it's probably one of the best times for a lot of you guys to go ahead and change your style or switch it up a bit. And also, making sure you're up to date is very, very important. Like, for me, there was a few times where I was just not, like, you know, keeping up like I used to. There was a time for real, and it was really, really showing, and it was bad. Like, it, it started making me feel like I've I fallen off, and I wasn't looking my best as well, and I wasn't feeling my best as well. So it's like a domino effect. When you have that one thing wrong and it's all starting in here, it's affecting everything. But you can start working on these little things such as your style, such as, you know, what you should wear that makes you feel good, what suits you, what makes you appear better in a woman's um, eyes. What do girls com compliment you all the time on? When, when all that is picked out and figured out and you're working on it, you're obviously eventually going to become the best version of yourself along with being on your purpose and everything else that's important. But 
It's all about putting yourself together, being in that good place. Like I always tell you guys, take care of yourself mentally, everything. Mental health is everything, and you got to take care of yourself. All right, so I'm just going to leave that at that, but I'll just tell you guys, like I said, appearance will change the game for you guys to get more money, I mean money, get more um, uh, women. I'm sorry, there's so many things going on today, so my mind is definitely everywhere. But there's so many ways to get women, but appearance is definitely going to be your biggest help because that's one of the first things that girls will instantly just notice. You look good. Oh, wow, he looks good. And I didn't say too much about how you should look and everything because I do talk about looks. Like, at the end of the day, if you look like you have money, that's going to help you get girls, right? We know that girls love money, especially from a man, right? So it's like all those little criteria of, like, what are you going to add to your style? What flavor? What does this show? What does this represent? What is she looking at? A man that loves to just be flashy, like that's going to be the, the decision she has to kind of come to. Like, what do I want to do with this type of guy? Or what type of guy is that? Or is this my type of guy? She has to make a decision. And that's because you're right in front of her. Do I like him? Is he attractive? Right? And then when I said you guys waited it out, you wait in that meantime while well, she's over there and she's analyzing you. She's going to look at how you're dressed. She's going to pick out everything. She's going to, you know, say, you know what? Maybe could change this. But the two great things about it is that you're at a good place. You're really happy, right? You have your style. You know how you want to look. This is your appearance. You know it. That's the best thing. And then the second thing is that if you look good, even though there is a chance maybe she might not find you attractive still based on your appearance, it still gives you a chance because you're still yourself. You're still going to be confident. You're going to feel good in that skin because you know yourself. Now you're showing yourself. You're not being fake. You're dressing how you like. This is who you are. Okay? And so the last thing actually kind of applies. Well, it, it, it falls hand in hand. But I feel like, you know what? We don't talk about this enough. I don't talk about it enough. And it's not something that you have to really say much about. But most definitely wearing a cologne that is irresistible now y'all might not think this will get you way more women or help the game when it comes down to getting women but i'm telling you guys this actually changes the game now think about it like this us women when we wear colognes and this is just my experience and i know girls experiences so it's kind of been the same and i'm sure it's um it's the same for some of the girls you guys are talking to so for our experiences wearing cologne i mean not cologne perfume right and it smells good we've had plenty and i'm saying we because i'm now relating to the girls that i know we've had plenty of men actually say oh you smell good oh you you smell good i bet you taste good type of thing right so it's kind of the same thing i tell you guys a lot of times the things that you guys notice girls are doing that area where it's like you know keeping themselves together and stuff take notes in that area but don't take notes when it comes down to their emotions don't pick up their habits with how emotional they are no 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 you take the notes when you see a woman that's put together she likes to smell good she stays fresh clean you take your notes as in this is a girl that she probably wants me wearing cologne around her or i could probably drive her crazy wearing cologne and i'm telling you guys you guys might not know but cologne can drive a lot of girls crazy. And I'm going to tell you, I'm one person and I still remember this guy. Now, I'm not saying nothing too much about him because, hey, that's the past. We're not here for that. But I just want to say this because it's a memory that I think of. When I think of Irresistible Cologne, there was this one cologne. I don't remember what brand it was. I wish I knew. And we'll do videos, you know, trying to help the whole, like, you should use these type of products, what would help. And, you know, I'll try to give you guys suggestions if I can. But um, that cologne he had everywhere I went, I smelt it. I, I, I just couldn't. It was irresist irresistible when I tell you. And so when I was around him, I loved his smell. Like, I just loved how he smelled. I literally wanted to smell him all day long. Yeah, it's bad. I know. But that's just the truth of it. If you have irresistible cologne, it makes you irresistible. It's like, come closer, you smell good, right? So last thing I'll just say, suggestion, I would stick with fresh. I would definitely tell you guys do the fresh smell fresh smell because if you try the strong strong smell although sometimes it's like kind of an illusion it'll make some girls think you're more masculine that still does not matter because she might not like it some girls out here don't like strong colognes and you know when you go to places they tell you sometimes don't wear strong colognes school is a good example so i would tell you guys pick a fresh smelling cologne that smells like you can really really smell you don't have to be too scared to hide a fresh smelling cologne because it's fresh and it's not really that strong okay so that's that i hope this was helpful like i said happy new year's eve and i will see you guys tonight all right bye you guys